Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to encrypt a folder or file here in Windows 11. And to get started, you just locate the folder that you'd like to encrypt or the file. Right click, go to show more options, go to properties, make sure you are on the general tab and then click on advanced. And then right here, encrypt contents to secure data. Check that box, hit OK, click apply. And then in most situations, you'll want to apply changes to the folder, subfolders, and files, and then click on OK, and then OK again. You will now notice that the folder has a padlock on it, and if I open up the folder, the contents within it also has a padlock, letting you know that both are now encrypted. This encryption is tied to your Windows user account, so just be sure that you know if someone has access to your user account, they will also still have access to this folder and file. This is why it's a good idea not to have a shared user account and why each user should have their own account. Furthermore, you should back up the certificate pertaining to the encryption for this folder and file. And to do that, you just right click, go to show more options, go to properties, and then advanced details. And here it will list the user that this encryption is associated with. Once you have that, you can go down to search, type in cert for certification, and then open up manage user certificates. Top left, extend personal, and then click on certificates, and then locate the correct user and right click. All tasks, export, next, yes, next, keep the defaults, next, set up a secure password, and then click on next, and then browse where you want to put this file. I'm just going to put it in documents, and you can name it whatever you would like to do so, and then click on save, and then you'll click on next, and then finish. And again, we just go through that process to ensure you don't lose access to this file or folder. If at any point you need to unencrypt or decrypt this file and folder, you just right click, go to show more options, properties, advanced, uncheck the box, hit OK, apply, and then the bottom option, and then click OK, OK, and you can see it is now unencrypted. If you need a free alternative, I will post a link to this site, which is for AxeCrypt, which is used to encrypt files and or folders. There is a Windows version. They do have a paid version, but you do not need it. You can just use the free version. It will allow you to encrypt individual files or folders. All you'll need to do is just set up a free account and you'll be good to go. That's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.